Okay, good. My remote camera. Y'all excuse my appearance. I've been up for a few days. And let me see so I can get my screen here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, can everybody see? Can yes. everybody? Yes, we can see your yes. ear. Okay. All right. That's what I wanted to know. All right. I'm going to have to try to turn my computer so I can ha hand hold this and show everybody what's going on here. And uh, this is the first time I've tried to do this with my remote camera. So this will give everybody a look at everything real fast. Uh, we'll go uh, We'll go down here. I'll move my chair out of the way so you can see there's this is the floor. There's no wires anywhere in my floor. There's nothing up under the nothing up under the table anywhere that's connected. Nothing, no loops. I'll walk around so everybody can see. There's no wires. These were the wires that you were seeing that right here that go up. I'm trying to do this it's backwards when you're operating this camera. These go to the heater and they go into the strip. They're not plugged in anything, as you can see. They're just angling here. They don't go to anything at all. And that's the back of the system, so everybody can see there's nothing hidden anywhere. I wanted to relieve everybody's mind that there's nothing hidden. Okay, so I'll turn the uh, generator on. Immediately, I'm producing power. Now, you'll notice on my switch, no voltage. I start turning my, my lights on. You don't see it. So you can see that it's producing current. Now, I'll flip the switch over here on my strip, and you'll notice that I'm going to send 120 volts over to my strip. Now, the panini maker already came on. So did the refrigerator. So did the microwave. And, uh, and as you can see, right here, the heater is set at 1,500 watts. It's on. It's going out hot air. Lights are on. The panini's on. Uh, this compressor is on. If you can hear it, I don't know if you heard it hiss, but it, it sucks. It, it pulls the vacuum. So this one's running. Refrigerator's running. We got some Sprite and uh, lemonade in there. And now we are going to turn the microwave on. We're going to hit it for 30 seconds. All right. Now we got 30 seconds. Now we got a full load. Now if you look at my board over here. You can see that uh, uh, we're uh, having uh, uh, 1,500 watts. The microwave oven is 800 watts. The grilled cheese toaster is 800 watts. The door refrigerator is a start 500. Oh, yep, it just uh, it tripped my it tripped my breaker there. Uh, I've got to reset the system. Uh, but uh, excuse me for a second here. Uh, we uh, what we were at before I tripped the system here. Um, I'm sorry about that. I'm pulling a lot of a lot of amperage through uh, uh, that little bitty thing there. Um, What's interesting, to... uh, Douglas, your audio just got better after this the breaker uh, trip there. It's the plasma fields. Uh, yeah. is what it is what it is. And uh, you I was saying it. You sounded like, like you're talking in a submarine or something. Like a, it was in plasma fields. That's right. I will uh, try to sit that there so everybody can see the board. While I try to reset the uh, the system here, so everybody can see what's uh, going on with the wattage there, and have a better look at what we've got. Do you want us to go back and come back to consuming to on the board there? Um, Douglas, do you want us to go out and come back in? Uh, yeah, you can for a second, uh, Mr. Kesha. Uh, I think okay. that uh, uh, no uh, problem, no problem. Uh, yeah, we'll give you the time. Yeah, a wire vibrated loose, sir. Give me about two two seconds here, and I'll have it back together. Okay, no problem, no problem. Uh, if you um, notice now, we are at about three point three kilowatt. Originally, it's about four point three when the motors come on the refrigerator and the rest, and then when it goes to the steady supply, it comes three point three kilowatt. These units can be pushed to twenty kilowatt easily. But we have, this is part of the redesign, that we sell um, a three kilowatt unit. That's our base ground, this is what we say. But you can, depending on how we do the circuit positioning, we can go out to um, 
what do you call it, uh, to four or five or six kilowatts. More than four and a half, five, we have to redesign the circuitry. And then uh, we can show the whole process. Are you back again? Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, I've got to take the uh, 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 device on this. Uh, everybody knows these surge protectors have a, a breaker on it. I just had that. Took me a second, but it just put the breaker on here. This little surge protector is not used to pulling this many amps, sir. <laughs> and, uh, okay. Okay, no problem. This is so, a sixteen. This is a sixteen gauge. Or this one. Yeah, is it's okay. No problem. No problem. We understand. Douglas, we understand. Hello. We just yeah. wanted to see that it works. Um, is your toaster still on? Yes, sir. The toaster is still on. You can see the, the red light yeah. there. And your the heater thermal. is still on. We've got the thermal indicator here. We will, uh, we will show that uh, you can see that everything's backwards, but it's showing 240 degrees on that one. Uh, and the heater trying to move around over 200 degrees on the heater. The light bulb is down here showing 80 degrees. The uh, the capacitors are at about 90. That's what they were before on the video. The uh, top coil is uh, 96 uh, to 104. 104 this time. The uh, middle coil is uh, 99. And the bottom coil is 93. Uh, so for the amount of wattage and amperage that's going through this system for a total of 3.3 .3 continuous watts running uh, and a startup of 4.4 kilowatts, in theory, this 16 and 18 gauge stranded wire here should have been disintegrated and melted beyond recognition. Uh, but as you can see, through the ability of the MyGrav and plasma technology, it allows for a different kind of of uh, electricity uh, that doesn't allow for the heat and resistance, you know, like the coils here. Everybody says they shock you. Look, guys, I've got my hands on mine. They don't shock if they're, if they're properly coated. You can hold them all day long. They don't shock you. You know, uh, I've heard people say they get a shock. You see right now I'm pulling 3.3 kilowatts continuous. Everything's on, and I've got my hand right here on the mic. Let me back it up to you see it. And I've got it in there with it. You know, every bit of it. Nothing's touching. Well, my breaker tripped again. But everybody can see that uh, if it wasn't for my surge protector there, uh, it, it, it won't allow the current to go through it. It hasn't been nano-coated yet. Once this thing becomes nano-coated, if I continue to use it, and I've noticed it takes a, a couple weeks to nano-coat wires, and I noticed that from this one here, uh, within about two or three weeks, this will be nano-coated, and this strip will no longer kick the breaker on it, the surge protection. Uh, it, it, it'll quit doing that. So this is to show everybody that we got 3.3. There's no hidden wires, and that's a continuous 3.3 on the board. And we had a startup of 4.4 kilowatts. And I truly am sorry uh, uh, that the, the video wasn't loaded up in time. Uh, it, it, I've had some issues with the Internet, but uh, I do have a rather nice video for everybody to see that's a little bit longer that explains everything in detail. And uh, yeah. it managed to uh, not trip the... Uh, surge protection device uh, that time. I've ran this uh, several times now, so it's managed to warm up and, and it's causing issues with my surge protection device. But uh, other than that, everybody's seen everything's working fine. It's it's running fine and this is a step to, to where we go. And you can see I added a, a, a periscope for Mr. Kesha's submarine right there. <laughs> Would you like to show us your pendulum, please? Uh, Rick's got that video, sir. Uh, uh, he can uh, he can put that on there. I've got stuff scattered everywhere in here, sir. That I don't know if. Uh, uh, okay, I can put that on now if you wish. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll stop, sure, brother. Okay. Can you hear me? Can yes, hear sir. Me? I can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me explain to you what is happening. The what are you going to see? is the continuation of what we saw